USA begins its World Cup quest in the most violent city in the world. The road to the World Cup begins in earnest for the United States on Wednesday in an environment that, at least on paper, could scarcely be more hostile. According to the, the United States State Department and reports from humanitarian groups, San Pedro Sula, the second biggest city in Honduras, is the most violent place on earth. The conclusion is derived from data that shows a homicide rate of 159 deaths per 100,000 citizens, with widespread thievery, drug-related violence and social unrest rife just four years removed from a bloody military coup. The, the United States will rely heavily on Michael Bradley and its quest to qualify for the 2014 World Cup. AP, such a setting is a simple reality for the USA, for whom the good fortune of being in a relatively weak section of soccer's global map brings an enhanced chance of reaching the World Cup in Brazil next year, yet also a series of tourist trials along the way. Teams in the CONCACAF region that encompasses North and Central America and the Caribbean are no strangers to various forms of perfectly authorized skullduggery plus annoyances such as erratic refereeing in less than pristine playing conditions. For example, head coach Jurgen Klinsmann's players will know that their road games will be patronized by crowds fully prepared to hurl verbal hostility, often in venues and at kickoff times designed to provide maximum discomfort for the visitors. Wednesday's clash has been switched to mid-afternoon local time to ensure the temperature is at its highest, an advantage for the Honduran locals, with most of the Americans plying their trade in the chillier climes of Europe. A presidentially decreed national day will ensure a packed crowd clad in Honduras like blue colors, interspersed with a tiny pocket of hardy and loyal USA supporters. The road has to start somewhere, though, and despite San Pedro Sula's nefarious reputation, things won't get any easier as the USA's campaign progresses throughout this year.